Given his first guitar at the age of nine, it wasn't long before Philip was playing in his own bands, first testing the waters as a member of the new generation, before making a name for himself around Gibraltar in the early 70s with Stone Age. The success of Stone Age's weekly gigs was enough to convince Philip to look beyond Gibraltar's borders in the mid-70s. But the frontier closure of 1969 would not be lifted for another decade, and so he set his sights further afield. It was in the UK then, with his brother Hubert, that Philip's career in music took a more serious turn, as he put it in a 2013 article with the Gibraltar magazine. While writing songs for Carlin Music, the country's largest independent publisher, Philip and Hubert toured the UK before moving to Berlin, where they signed with Hansa Records. It was through Hansa that the Valverde brothers achieved their greatest commercial success. Their disco LP, After Midnight, was released in 22 countries around the globe. After midnight, we're gonna let it all hang. After their time in Germany, the brothers would part ways. Hubert opted for America. Philip's path led him back to the rock. The love for his hometown is captured in the lyrics of My Gibraltar, an ode to the rock that tells of the difficult journey home that locals endured during the times of the closure. Once back in the place he was born, Philip would go on to establish himself as a stalwart of the local music community. His iconic music shop, The Studio, would see thousands pass through its doors over the following decades. Still, only a fraction of the lives Philip touched in some way, big or small. Songwriter, composer, teacher, performer, the lives of the many parties he attended and an inspiration to Gibraltar's musicians. His biggest local stage was always the National Day Concert, which, before the days of music festivals, was the rock's biggest annual concert, and one which he fronted for years together with some of Gibraltar's most celebrated musicians. Right till the end, Philip could be seen sometimes strumming on his guitar in his little music shop in Bombhouse Lane. But, popular and gregarious, he wasn't always there and was instead put in the world to rights in one of the nearby cafes. Regardless of how long the tertulias took, the handmade sign at the door of the studio remained unchanged. Back in 10 minutes.